What's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's solar panel installation day. If you caught my unboxing video, you know that I chose to go with the Bouge RV Yama 100 solar panel. This is a SIG solar panel that is flexible, bendable, comes with the adhesive on the back. It's crazy thin, crazy lightweight. This thing is under five pounds. Um, really easy to install. I don't have to put any holes on the roof of my rig and it is always on. I don't have to set it up like a solar suitcase solution and take it down every time I want to use it. It is contributing to the battery charge when I drive, when I shop, when I'm home, it's a trickle charger. So this was a solution I went with. Today's the day we're putting it in. So let me start cleaning. Since this solar panel option is an adhesive, I'm going to start by cleaning all the surfaces that I need it to adhere to to get a good strong adhesion. I want this thing to last years. So I'm just using a rag and some rubbing alcohol and I need to get up on that roof best I can and clean the sucker off. Now that I've got the roof squeaky clean, I'm going to stick the adhesive to it. I only got one shot at this, so wish me luck. So the panel is adhered to the roof. I did get a few kinks in it. Um, that's the nature of the beast when you're putting something square on something round. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would probably go a little slower and take my time to get it a little cleaner, but it's up there, moving on. Now that I've got the solar panel adhered to the roof, I'm gonna use these Bouge RV MC4 extension cables. This is a 10 foot extension cable that is 10 gauge, 100% copper wire, really good quality. And Bouge RV makes it super easy because they have their positive and negative labeled on the panel. So there's really no way to mess it up. Okay, well these get warm in the sun. I'm going to move on to my battery connection. I've chosen to go with the iGreely battery connector. It's very simple to attach to your battery terminals. It's got a very high quality fuse holder in the middle here. I've got a 30 amp fuse and it's got an SAE connection which I can easily extend out with an extension SAE cord to give myself more working room. Now I've got my cable coming out of my battery connection. I've got my cables coming down from my solar panel. It's time to install this box. I got this cheap box off Amazon that barely fits right here on the scamp, but I got this idea from DIY Outdoor Life. So if you want a really thorough detailed video on this entire solar setup, you can go check out his channel because that guy knows his stuff. But for the quick rundown, I'm just gonna feed both cables into this box. That's where I'm gonna house my charge controller. So now I've got all my wires fed into this box, which is where I plan to house my charge controller. And I will adhere and zip tie this to the tongue underneath here. I've got a couple of holes drilled into it. But for now, I'm going to clean up all my cables and protect them with some wire loom. These are just 
little 3M adhesive zip tie holders. So I'm gonna use these to kind of route my wires where I want them to go. And this is just split cable loom. I can use this to create a UV protective coating around my wires. I've run all my cables into my box. I've got the SAE connection that's coming from my battery and I've installed these MC4 connectors to the cables that are coming from my solar panel. So I'm ready to start hooking everything up. I've got this 10 amp charge controller from Bouge RV and I've got all my wires installed. And I added one of Bouge RV's inline fuses to protect my battery. So that goes on the positive cable that's coming from the solar panel. I've got my SAE ready to go. It's time to hook this thing up. So it's really important that you hook up the battery first. And it's a really good practice to throw a blanket or something over your solar panel. So when you hook it up, there's no danger. But let's do this. Here goes nothing. The SAE cable going first. Moment of truth. There it goes. It's on, everything's connected. We're getting solar. I've got a fuse between the solar panel and my charge controller, and I've got a fuse between my charge controller and my battery. We're hooked up and everything is safe. We've got solar. There you go, there's the proof. My battery is officially charging from the Bouge RV solar panel that I've installed on the roof. I'm gonna go outside and mount my box and give you one last look at everything once it's all tight and pretty. Everything is secured and adhered. I'm gonna give you a look at my entire setup and everything I use will be linked in the description below. Starting with the Bouge RV solar panel, their extension cord, which is protected and adhered with these little 3M adhesive cables. Coming on down to the battery, we've got the I Greeley connector with the SAE connection and the fuse to protect the battery. And then all my cables are entering, entering through these cable glands here that I adhere to the back of this box. Inside the box is the charge controller and all my connections. So if you're wondering why I took the time to put these extra connectors and this box in here, it's because I can now unplug the solar panel when the trailer's fully charged and plug it directly into my portable power station to charge that when my trailer battery's topped off. So it's kind of a two for one with this extra step. And I just adhered the box with some very high bond tape under here and some zip ties for good measure. And just to prove to y'all, that I'm not connected anywhere. Not plugged in. I'm getting full power. Look at that, kids. I've never done this before. It was pretty easy, so if this inspires you to do it as well, you can find literally everything I used in the description below. But if you found some value in this video, please go ahead and check out some of my other videos while you're here. Thanks for watching.